open up the video with that pretty smile <laughs> so they won't think you're a monster from the last video okay yeah so what's up YouTube I'm here to uh, clear my name for the uh, whatever from the, from the last video because I seem to have come off as a bit of a tyrant which really which really is not the case it's just you know, we had a rough moment. So when I get emotionally upset, I tend to just ramble and thoughts come to my head. True as they may be, like I don't know how to put them together in a way that everybody understands. So sometimes I come off, you know, as a person that I'm not. So. Um, yeah. So basically, we just wanted to get on here <laughs> and explain what happened. Um, in a sense, we knew that it was a huge jump from the How We Met video up until. Um, but like I said in the beginning of the Rough Night video, our lives together are seven months ahead of that How We Met video. So we're kind of, we just kind of fast forwarded to that uh, Rough Night video. And we just kind of wanted to do a little recap, if you will, of the rough night video i guess we already explained how it came about but just kind of clarify because i know a few people were confused including us <laughs> yeah and then we just want to talk about what happened after the video um because a lot of people thought that we were mad at each other and that wasn't necessarily the case yeah we were kind of what would you say babe? we didn't really get a chance to like do a continuation of like after the how we met so that you will understand where we are now like and why things seem to be the way they are now because of where we are like we just we're apart and it's 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 really all about it really boils down to like the struggle of us like trying to do this long distance not being able to see each other or spend time with each other or or anything like Right now, like, the only communication we have is, just, like, through Skype and email and texting. And, and after a while, you know, it gets, it, it can get frustrating. Like I said, it's hard to just kind of put it out there the way I want to without spoiling the next video. <laughs> so I'm not going to say it, but... um a lot has happened within the last seven months. Uh -huh. So when we get to the moments where it's like, we really want to be with each other really bad, it gets frustrating yeah. and we both handle it different. I don't I don't get over things that quickly. Things bother me for a while. And me being who I am and gone through what I've gone through, like I'm an extremely sensitive individual. So um, I don't talk well when I'm upset. But I committed to doing this video to share our journey and I and you know I just didn't want to wait until after the moment had passed and then you guys really don't really see or feel how real that was I said some things in a way that I in a way that I probably wish I hadn't have said it but you know that's just that's really how I felt it the way I said right it right after the moment happened I was like babe get your camera and record and I knew <laughs> he was like I don't think the camera wants to hear <laughs> what I have to say right now and that's why I kept mentioning in the video you know we said that we were going to do this to share our journey well that was a part of our journey and so even the next day watching the video was so it was so hard just to see him that way and then to see me like a bucket full of tears it was just like wow so in a sense we were even seeing what you guys were saying for the very first time because you know when you're in something you're in it but then when you come out of it and you look back at it it's just like that was me although we don't really we didn't really like to to, to see ourselves that way it helps because oh, we were going to have to come together after that video. There are some things that happened after we posted the video, which um, I'm going to let him get into first. It's ba it basically boils down to this. Like, there's a reason why we named this Divine Love. We knew that everybody wasn't going to like it. Um, we knew that uh, there was going to be some 
So it's one thing to say you're prepared for opposition. It's another thing to be prepared for. And so um, it was easy for us while we was all in love and we was just, we going to stand together. <laughs> and nobody was going to stop us. <laughs> right. <laughs> and then when it happens, um, we're both looking at each other like, man, I don't know. So let's just hold off. And uh, I was ready to shut the channel down. <laughs> Yeah. It was like, I can't do this anymore. Yeah, we didn't realize how real or serious it would be. Like, the whole thing about it is we were cool with opposition as long as it didn't disconnect us. You know, for about two and a half days, it was, um, we were totally different people with each other. I remember I was on my way to a rehearsal and um, I hadn't heard from her all day. I hadn't heard from her all day. I was literally decaying on the inside, like, trying to be, you know. And so I was like, let me just call and see how she is. And she says this thing to me every time she says it. But it never meant as much as it meant when she said it to me. When we were talking, everything was, like, real cordial. Just to give you guys an idea how, like, serious this stuff was. And she said, I love you today. And I broke down in front of everybody. After we made the Rough Night video, we were attacked spiritually, meaning um, there was some great opposition a few days after we posted the Rough Night video, and it caused us, like he said earlier, I mean, we had had dreams about this, I mean, before we had even started, really, really started our relationship, and we knew that we were going to get opposition just by being together and just by, you know, loving each other and showing people that we loved each other. We knew that opposition was going to come. And basically a few days after that video, it came. And <laughs> we were completely blindsided because we were still dealing with the stuff that we had talked about in the rough night video, you know, being apart in this long distance relationship and wanting to give in to, you know, temptation. And, and so our minds were on that stuff and then something totally different. It, it just, it kind of hit us like a whirlwind. And so that it really just knocked us off of our square. And then it kind of, we kind of, uh, like you said, we were different people with each other and, we didn't talk to each other the same and just the feelings and the emotions during our conversations just were not the same and everything was just really it was kind of cold and it was kind of distant it happened like you said for like two and a half days and it, it was the most miserable two and a half days ever yeah. again because we were so focused on what you guys heard in the rough night video this other stuff just kind of hit us like yeah. a brick and it took us a while. We stumbled for a little bit, but we did get back up from that. And it was only two and a half days, but it was a very long and stressful two and a half days. As much as we needed to talk about it, we did. You know, and the dust began to settle and we could really see things for what they were and, and what they weren't. And at the <laughs> end of it, it was like, oh, is that all it was? Is that it? You know? And, you know, but, but there were things that had it been mentioned during the height of everything, we didn't hear each other. But we kept talking. We refused to not talk. Yeah. And, you know, had we stopped communicating or chose to just not communicate during that time, this probably be a whole another video. We came out stronger than we were before. And that's a lot of the thing with, with us. We're huge communicators. And I'll tell Danye, you know, you might not like me right now, but I need you, you to talk me. to me. <laughs> You're telling me. But I need you to talk to me anyway. And so now it just lets us know to pray for keen discernment. And it, it lets us know to pray, you know, God, open our spiritual eyes and ears, you know, so we can see the stuff coming from a mile away. Because there's going to be a lot of people who watch our videos and they're going to be like, why are you putting all your business out there? We made this channel not just for us. One, it's fun. We love doing this. But two, like... We know that there are others who, one, would be in the situation they'll not handle it. And two, we want, you know, people to see this journey. We want to share it with you, like, continually. Whenever you're choosing to live your life as an example to others, 
you're the first to get attacked. It's a huge jump from, oh, you know, he did this and then we talk. Yeah. It's a huge jump. We go from that to, Lord, I don't understand nothing. We, <laughs> <laughs> we go straight from that to, <laughs> straight from that to me kind of just going off. And I, I watched myself in that video and I was like, why did I always say, you know, we're human. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, we're human. But it is the point. And- that yeah. is the point. If we weren't human, then 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 there would be no purpose to the grace of God at all. I think that a lot of people want to say that to to be saved and to be Christian is to be perfect, and that's just that's not even biblical. You right. know, the only one that was perfect was Jesus Christ. And let's not forget, you know, because a lot of saints would be <laughs> like, you know, oh, Jesus Christ was perfect, so I can be perfect. Jesus was deity. Right. <laughs> go fast for 40 days and 40 nights with no water. See how long you live. Let's go see. Just go see. Just go try it out. And and, and let, the, let the devil tell you to turn some stones of bread. See, don't you try to hope this focus that <laughs> into some wonder bread real quick. God told Paul in my grace is sufficient because Paul expressed human struggle just like we express it. And so we're just here to kind of Get you to show everyone that yes, you know it's it's God made us human. This is why we this is why we are, and a lot of people want to condemn that and just and or or ignore that whole human side as if it doesn't exist. When really this is what real people go through. And it, like it, it, it just it gets to a point where so many Christians and like so many believers they sit and they talk about. How, you know, oh, I'm so tired of people being fake. Oh, I'm so tired of people being hypocritical. Oh, I'm so tired of people pretending like they don't go through anything. Well, this is us not pretending. Right. Like, we know that there is something bigger than us going on here. And we are just living it from day to day. And so to show that to people and to help other people, they're not necessarily on that platform to put their lives out. Right. on video for the whole world to see. So this is this is not a small task. Nah. You know, but we wanted we wanted to do this and this is what we signed up for and so it's just it's all a part of the territory and it's very rewarding. It's 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 a new journey for us and we're just choosing to share it. Um, not only are we here to fulfill purpose um in our own separate lives, but we're here to fulfill purpose together. Um, because we know that God placed us together to um, for something just so much greater. Like we, I don't really say anything specific because I don't even know what God has in yeah, store. Neither of us do. There's, there's, there's some things uh, coming. I'm I'm immensely excited. I'm not gonna mention it because I'm not gonna spoil anything. But um, yeah, we there's a few changes coming, and we're just like happy about it. Hey, but we just wanted to sincerely thank all of our subscribers. Appreciate you, Sherry. Um, oh, babe. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, our channel has been in existence for almost four weeks now. Mm-hmm. And I can't think offhand, but I think we have like maybe 80 or 90 subscribers right now. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's pretty that's pretty awesome. We just wanted to say thank you. Keep praying for us. <laughs> yes. I sound like I'm in church. Let's pray right now. Father, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> we do. <laughs> <laughs> we thank you right now for all of the many times you came through for us. Thank you again. I just want to thank you right now, Jesus. Thank you. That's so good. Yeah, so we're going to have some different videos coming at you. Um, we're going to try and stick with the storyline so you guys um, can come up to speed to where we are right now. Right. Um, we want to bring y'all up to date. Like, okay. Oh, yeah. okay. So then everybody be like, all right. Okay. I, okay. Yeah, like, oh, that rough video, that rough night video should have been about right. seven right. videos right. down the line. Right. Y'all had a rough night the next day? <laughs> Right after you met? <laughs> I think y'all moving too fast personally, but <laughs> But yeah, we, we love you guys. We appreciate you guys. Thank you. 
YouTube subscribers and those who supported us. And it's a little difficult for us to sit down and record because I got we're on two different time we're in two different time zones. Um, he still has his thing going on over there. See you guys on the next video. On the next video. Yes. Leave us some comments. We like reading comments. Yes. Talk to us. Yes, we're nice people. We are. I'm really nice guy. Like I'm not really mean. He is. He's a sweetheart. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not really a mean. I like it. I'm not. I hated that. The most talking y'all heard from me was from that rough night video. So like. You'll make up for it. I'm so sorry. Well, you were all flirty in the first video. <laughs> hey. That's the end of this video, guys. Hey. <laughs> 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 Bye. <laughs>